for us as a school and indeed any school but certainly at Horizon International hygiene, student safety, student health and well-being is a non-negotiable for us. It was a very uncertain and anxious time because naturally we wanted our students to return to school to be part of school life and that whole school experience. However, we wanted to make sure that we weren't rushing into a return. So as soon as the 118 protocols were issued by the KHDA and in support of and with the DHA, we analysed those protocols to make sure that we were able to fulfil the expectations of us to ensure a safe return. And as we did that, we were then able to realise that we were able to open safely with the support of the KHDA, DHA and the parent community. Returning to school, um, it's easier to close a school than it is to open a school. So we had to systematically map out and break each of the protocols down related to the areas of school. So we first of all looked at car park entry points and ent exit points. We then looked at student movement around the classes and the corridors. We then looked at open and specialist spaces. We then moved into the classrooms itself. So it was a compartmentalised systematic review of each point in the school according to the protocols. We worked on those areas. When those areas were implemented and fully reviewed and evaluated, we then moved on to the next area. And then we looked at the whole school functionality at a point in time where we opened the school, phased the return of students step by step to make sure that we could make twi tweaks and shifts as we went along the way. Then with a full school opening week beginning the 6th of September. It was very different because at each day, step of the way we had to think about physical distancing, social distancing, masks, hand hygiene and adopting the safest practices. We also had a limited number of students that were able to be in classrooms or spaces at any one time. We had restrictions for teacher interactivity with students so rather than coming from it from a traditional normalised teacher learner point of view we had to take into consideration all of the protocols as well as the well-being of students, the well-being of staff and the trust and confidence of parents sending their children back to school. So a great deal of thought and reflection had to go in and evaluation had to go into a new normal return to school. So school hygiene is really important and having well over a thousand children and 200 staff in the campus at any one point during the day, maintaining sanitation, maintaining students wearing masks, hand sanitizer, and all of those aspects remain a challenge, as well as people have, parents and, and staff, have different expectations of standards of cleanliness. So it's making sure that we meet the expectations of staff and the community in terms of maintaining a clean campus. Our building is also 10 years old. That's quite old in terms of Dubai, so we have the challenges of maintaining an oldish building and keeping that fresh, up to date, uh, with the highest possible standards of sanitization. Um, it's not like a new build. So we have systematic uh, policies and procedures in place. Our cleaning and support staff are fully briefed. There are rotors, there are trainings. We have the help of our school nursing staff. We have brought in specialist chemicals that are approved by the DHA. We have introduced uh, training to make sure that our cleaning and support staff are well versed in hygiene and infection and virus control measures and then also as leaders of the school we systematically throughout the day review the systems processes and the cleaning rotor. We've also increased the staffing ratios as well. So it's been a very positive relationship with Fine Hygiene that have consistently reached out to support us with face masks or advice um, as we begin to work through our return to school. 
They've always been there to support us and offered their help as part of community service, but also their professional advice and capacity has been appreciated as well.